Well, today on Nation, the greatest window cleaning podcast of all time, uh, we're talking all about live or die, and it's up to you. So if you have a company, maybe you got the winter blues, maybe you just need a little kick in the pants, if that is you, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. And man, I just realized my voice is super raspy for some weird reason. But anyway, enjoy it. It could be soothing. Uh, no, but if it's your first time here, have a look around. Uh, hopefully you enjoy everything. There is 240 plus episodes, 100 plus hours of content. What is that? 240, 120 hours of content. So go back and watch. There's a lot to listen to, a lot to watch. It's anywhere podcasts are found. If you want to listen, if you want to watch, I got more of a face for radio, but it's also on YouTube, so check it out there. Uh, But, full disclosure, I am a sales rep for windowcleaner.com. This is my digs. It's what I do. Hopefully, I can help you. But more importantly, if you need to get supplies ordered, shameless plug time, well, that's what I'm here for. My number is 862-312-2026. And yes, you can put everything in your cart and just shoot me a text, 862-312-2026. Say, yo, Jersey, your podcast sucks, but here's an order. <laughs> I've never actually had me tell anybody tell me that it sucks to my face, but uh, I know there's people out there who don't like it. So you can tell me. Tell me. I could take it. I uh, know, but do give me a call. Uh, I would love nothing more than to put your order in because that's how I make my cheddar. It costs you nothing extra, and it's like a super awesome high five. And if you want to do an even better high five, fist bump, anything, get American Window Cleaner Magazine. Yes, actually, cool little bit. For the next month when this show is coming out, the month of February, uh, from now until February, end of February, 2022, uh, anybody who gets a subscription is entered into a drawing to win a free water fed pole. Nuts. Um, anyway, so check that out. Um, awcmag.com forward slash sub. Just get a subscription. You've waited long enough. Get a subscription, even if it's not for the stickers. Anyway, go do that. Super shameless plug. Uh, last one. Uh, if you're on TikTok, follow me. Because I want to have followers. Because that's social vindication, right? I know, but we did start a TikTok a little while ago. Try to do some quick tips, things like that. It's jersey underscore WCR underscore nation. So just search jersey WCR nation anyway so today you're not going to really learn any like super hidden business things it's just not going to happen today if this is your first uh, time here a lot of times we focus on um you know business how to's i'm not going to tell you or show you how to squeeze your window it's not my digs. That's not what I'm focused on. There's a lot of videos out there. In fact, Steve-O makes a bunch of awesome videos. By the way, another secret. Uh, Monday night on Steve-O's channel, we do Monday night live. It's actually every other Monday as of right now, but we're probably going to start switching it over to Monday, every Monday. And it's an hour starting at 8 East Coast uh, of just questions and talking and hanging out. And there are just like tons of people uh, last uh, week we had 480 comments in one hour that's nuts anyway uh so check that out but anyway i digress but this episode is more for kind of the kick in the pants like let's talk real let's put it all out there um let's kind of talk about business now there's a big thing about business that is different than anything else in your life, especially if you're younger. Uh, by the way, I don't want to pull um, uh, generations like you millennials and you Gen Zers because I don't know what they are and I don't care less. Because in every single age group, there are like overachievers and then there's people who just don't want to achieve. They want things handed to them. And you're listening to a podcast about window cleaning, so you're not one of those people who are trying to get things handed to you right? But there's a lot of things in business that don't come out in anywhere else. Now, let's be honest. If you get a job 
Everybody thinks that job is secure, more secure than starting your own business, but that's bull. It's bull spit, baloney sandwich. It's BS. If you have a job, you get fired once, you have no job, right? If you are a window cleaner, you may have a thousand customers. You get get fired a thousand times. You really, really mess some things up. That is more secure. You're in control. The CEO or the board or the whatever is not in control. You're in control. So every time you go to start a business, if it's your first time, you've noticed this. Super, super just demotivating. But you go and people are like, oh, what are you doing? Or what do you want to do? You're like, oh, man, I'm starting a window cleaning business. And they're like, oh, cool. What's your uh, backup plan? Uh, to not fail? That's my backup plan. When you go to school to be a doctor, nobody says to you, they don't go, well, if doctoring doesn't, what? <laughs> doctoring's not a word. If being a doctor doesn't work, what's your backup plan? They all just go, oh, awesome. Like, you're, um, you're uh, gonna succeed, right? That's how it always goes. So right out of the gate, we are already behind the ball. We're already getting a little bit ridiculed. We're already realizing that, ah, oh, man, like, if I'm going to do this, it's up to me. Like, I did an episode with the greatest title ever because this is a, a motto that I live by. Nobody gives two dumps about you. That was the title. Nobody cares. No one cares. And here's the truth of the matter in this whole thing. No one cares if you live or die or if you succeed or fail is what we're really talking about. No one cares. Because the real thing is, is that if you don't get a job, say you have a job, you get fired, you go find another job. Oh, you're unemployed. You're, oh, you got fired? Ah, uh, sucks. Where are you going to go now? Right? They're just on to the next thing. But in starting your own business, it's different. Your blood, sweat, and tears is in this. Everybody acts the same thing. If you failed and your business closed down, people go, oh, man, that sucks. What are you doing now? Right? Oh, yeah, you had to close your business? Yeah, stupid economy, huh? What are you doing now these days? They're instantly onto something because it doesn't affect them. None of this success or failure affects everybody around you like it affects you. This is your baby. Maybe you're in this with the partner or wife. It affects both of you then. But the same thing as if you lost your job and you were married, your spouse is going to be like, oh man, like we have to figure this out. Same thing, but they don't get it. Even though it benefits them, it's not the same. They know you're just going to handle your stuff and get another job right? So success in small business, success in window cleaning, success in general is up to you. No ifs, ands, or buts. You have to have hustle. You have to have hustle. The biggest thing here, if your business is not doing good, step out from it. Back up. Take the blinders off. If business is not awesome, if you think your business should be better, even if it's doing good, maybe you've got growth numbers, but your growth numbers are low. What are you doing wrong? People are like, what? <laughs> it's the economy. No, it's not. Economy could suck. Markets could drop. COVID could hit like it did that month. Things suck for a minute. It's up to you to see what's happening and to hustle harder in the sides that will do something positive for you. No one can teach hustle. I could talk to you until you're blue in the face. And I could say, you know, you have to be better. You have to be bigger. You have to be more invested. I do uh, some private training stuff, uh, private coaching. And those people, everything is broken down so much that you can see hustle. You can see hustle 
when there's a plan. When there's certain things that are, okay, here's the goal what we want to get to. Boom, break it down. When do we want to get there by? This is what we have to do to get to that point. You can see everything that needs to get done. If it's getting done and how it's getting done shows you hustle. You plan for it and it will happen. You type in a GPS where you want to go. I want to go to California right now. This address, one, two, three, fake street in California. Type it into a GPS. You're planning for it. It gives you all the directions you need. And you will get there, 100%. Even if you have to change courses a couple times, traffic, accidents, you'll still get there because it's planned. Plan it and you'll get there. A big thing with the hustle is that I can't get the fire under your butt. You have to. You have to be the one that gets you under because no one cares if you live or die in business. By the way, there's nothing better, especially on these ones. Um, if you, you get anything or you needed to get kicked in the pants, comment on the video if you're watching it on YouTube. Just comment on the video because it helps everybody around you understand that they need to hustle. They need to get kicked in the pants. They need to increase what they're doing. And sometimes people are like, it's just me. All these guys around me, all these girls around me, all these business owners, man, look at what they're doing. Look at everything that they're doing. And here's me just struggling, bored. I can't get my brain in it. I'm working hard, but I just like falling out of love of it. I, I don't know. I mean, I could work harder, I guess, but I just don't got it in me. It's just me. Look at everybody around me. Everybody is so vested all the time. Lies. There's not one of you or one of me or one of anybody who has been 100% vested forever. There is always room for improvement. There's always more hustle you can put into it. I'm not saying to burn yourself out. There's seasons. You have to have a coasting season. You have to have a hustle season, right? You have to have a uh, uh, retain season. You have to have a growth season. They take different things and they wear you down differently. Don't burn yourself out. But everybody has that. The big thing is, is that we just don't see it. The problem with social media is there's always good. There's always look at me. There's always gross numbers, not net numbers. You don't always get to see everything. I woke up this morning with, look at my eyes. Look at my whole face. I'm like pale and like I just don't feel super rad. Allergy, something, sore throat, probably getting sick, whatever. But most people don't see that. I'm not going to pop up on Facebook and be like, well, I had a, a terrible bathroom experience today. Here's all about it. Nobody does that. What they do is they go, look at this. And it's some picture of you on a yacht. Well, Truth be told, I was at a boat show standing on a yacht because I thought it was cool and took a picture. Everybody around you goes, whoa, this guy. This guy's doing it. Same thing with business. Is when you look around at all the people doing so well. Oh, man, did you hear about that kid? He's 22 years old, hit his first million in window cleaning. Man, well, I've been doing it for five years and I'm at like 120K. I'm, it's my area. It's my, it's my, my market. It's my, it's my, it's my. People will always make excuses in order to soothe themselves. There always are outside factors in business. You could be doing super awesome. I'm telling you, I picked up the largest contract I've ever done. It was like 98 grand a year. One job, brought in $98,000 every year, reoccurring, on a whim. I was driving down the interstate, saw the building, called them. Just happened to be, they were just talking about it. Another one, the tallest building I've ever gotten. Actually, that contract was one of the largest, too, because I picked up, they sent me everything. I mean, I got, like, literally on one phone call, randomly, I got, like, 20 buildings, I called a company who was a cleaning company and said, yo, I'm Jersey with XYZ Window Cleaning. 
um, just calling to see if there's any work you'd like to sub out to a window cleaning company. She goes, it's so weird. We all are sitting in the office just talking about how we hated our window cleaners. And I stopped the conversation so I could answer the phone for your call. It's awesome timing. This is fate. I said, yeah. You know, lulls. I'd love to do some bids. We worked it out. Met them. Perfect timing. Luck plays into it. Just like bad luck. There's certain times where you're like, man, my transmission went, my this went, my whatever went. Businesses are closing in my area. There's a lot of outside things, but did you pivot to the negative like you would to the positive, right? The big thing is, is that people always want to sue themselves. But if you just took away all excuses and just really looked at yourself and said, it is you, your success is because of you. Sure, there was good luck. There was bad luck. It was because of you. No one looks at that it's the super success and goes, man, I sure have been super lucky. Ah, just glad that the market is just so amazing. Right? You look at it and go, well, man, I worked hard as heck. I worked hard for this. Yeah, some luck was in there, but I worked hard. I made it happen. Right? You've done stuff right to make it as successful as it is. In the negative, when things happen, nobody says, man, I just, I'm not working hard enough. I'm not focused enough. My planning isn't going to, 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 to plan, I guess. Right? My, uh, my systems aren't working. My blah, blah. They go, well, the economy and the, 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 and they only focus on the bad and they don't focus on themselves. But there were no excuses. You could only look at yourself, only blame yourself for success, and only blame yourself for failure. If you're in a season where you're like, man, I want to be this, I want to do this, maybe you're happy where you're at, awesome, you're in a coasting season. But if you're not, take away excuses. Crap happens. Good and bad happens. It's up to you to hustle, push, pivot, plan, to get around all that. I can't teach you hustle, but I can remind you, you have more of it, right? That's a big thing. But plan for it and it'll happen. If it's put out there and broken down, meet small goals to achieve large goals. Like I was saying, the, the uh, people that I, I talk to on a, a personal level, there's giant plans that are, that are made an entire goal. What are we going to do in 2022? Here's the goal. How do we get there? Break it down. And then there's accountability. This little thing has to happen by next week. Did it happen? If it did, you're on your way to the goal. If it didn't, you're, you're behind, but it's a little piece to catch up on. Plan for it and it will happen. There's something in business you have to understand too, that there is a now, a later, and a tomorrow. There's really bits. There's what happens today or this week, what happens this month, what happens by the end of this year, what happens five years from now. You have to see your company as a empire. You have to see it as what it is. A lot of times people are focused on the right now. And I'll ask questions to people just to kind of see where market is every time I'm talking to people who are ordering their supplies through me. Huh? Eh? <laughs> um, that's how I make my cheddar. So I always have to put it in there. But when people order supplies, a lot of times I'm like, so how's business? You know, what are you doing now? How are you? Bit? I'm asking for the now because it's not for me to know about, well, how you, what's your plan for five years? That's interesting, but it's not my benefit. It's your benefit, right? But the big thing is, is that you have to be understanding the now you have to understand the later and you have to understand the tomorrow. If you said, five years, I want to hit a million dollars a year. What does that look like? You have to make, you can't just throw out a sexy number. Throw it out there and go, well, if I work hard, it'll happen. You have to track it. You have to make sure you're on track. In fact, I do that with my sales, right? I know what I want to sell, like what I've done last year. You know, where market trends are, all that fun stuff. Same thing with WCR. It's all tracked to achieve a goal. But every single day, it's reviewed. 
Because in order to meet a yearly goal, you have to have monthly goals. You have to have daily goals. A daily goal compounds if done right into a monthly goal, compounds if done right into a quarterly goal, which compounds if done right into a yearly goal. Now, if for some reason we're trending below where we want to be, I know that after one day. If I have 30 days in a month and my plan and my goal for that day in order to achieve the month, if that plan for that day didn't match, my next day goes up. But it only goes up the difference from one day. Now, if six months from now we look at it, I could have six months of bad days and it's impossible for me to hit this. People always say, I want to be a million dollar company. Awesome. Understand what that means. Understand what that looks like. Understand that if your techs are making, we'll say $75 an hour, how many people do you need for that? How many people do you need to make that happen? The big thing in a lot of this is that people throw stuff out there and they don't actually look at, they don't look at the specifics, right? And it's easy to do, really. If you think about it, it's easy to do. The big thing is that you have to have every week, you have to have certain amount of hours at $75 an hour. You need 32 hours a day done. Right? To be a million dollars, uh, let me rephrase that, it's 32 people. Maybe I did my math wrong. But break it down, is all I'm saying. Take that million figure out, out of that million, what do I need to make every day to make a million? Right? Easier said than done, let's do this. Take that million dollars, break it down into 12. Now you can see what you need to make per month. Right? Out of that million dollars, I'm going to do it. Divided by 12. It means you need to make $83,000 a month. That's a big goal. It's a big goal. $83,000 a month. Now we got four weeks, right? Or to, to put that better, you know what you're making a month, and that's a generalized. But let's divide that million by 52. Every single week of the year, this is the middle of January or the middle of April, May, right? All has to average $19,230, right? That's a week. Well, there's 40 hours in a week, right? So now you have to produce $480 an hour. Okay, if your techs are, you know, working, say $75 an hour, which that's going to fluctuate, you need seven people. You need seven full-time, 40-hour-plus people making $75 an hour every single day of the week, every single week of the year in order to hit a million. Talk about the slush there. You need at least 10 people to make that happen. Right? When you plan for it, you see where that is, you can then go, okay, every day I need to make this. What does that look like? Oh, we're going to have this many trucks. 10 people. You get two people in a truck, that's five trucks on the road. You need five trucks on the road. How do you get to five trucks? If you need to make numbers like that, $83,000 months, how many customers is that? If your average ticket it's $250, $300. What does that look like? How many jobs do you need? That's the big thing. The big thing is to plan for the now, later and tomorrow, break it in to smaller chunks and understand what you're trying to achieve. Another thing that people don't do, you may not be doing this now, is surround yourself 
with greatness. You are not an accountant. Get an accountant. You're not a CPA. Get a CPA. You're not a lawyer. Get a retainer. You're not a fill in the blank. Surround yourself with greatness. Get with somebody. Right? Find yourself somebody to be a mentor for you. Find somebody to help you be accountable. Find that person that you can surround yourself. Understand, if you're the smartest, most successful person in a room, you're in the wrong room. Sure. It's really nice when people go, wow, you did what? Ah, oh, tell me more. Tell me a story. Man, I wish I was like you. That's super cool. I wish someday I could achieve what you achieved. That's great. That's nice, but that doesn't help you learn. It doesn't help you hustle. It doesn't help you get anything else. If you're in a room that everybody's wearing a Rolex, your big goal is to understand someday you'll have a Rolex. Not because you're trying to be like them, but because that is the tier that you're playing with. They say that your friends make you, right? If you hang out with a bunch of people who play hockey or love hockey, you're going to start getting into hockey. If you're hanging out with a bunch of people who are millionaires, you will eventually get there because everything they talk about, everything you absorb, every conversation gives you a little insight to how to get there. Surround yourself with greatness. If you're not doing that now, that's big. You're starting. Now, let me rephrase this. I'm just some dummy with a mic. I'm not a no I'm a nobody in this scheme of things. This is not as cocky as it's going to sound. But you're watching a podcast. You're already striving for greatness. You're doing something that only, you know, 3 4,000 people a week do. 3 to 4,000 window cleaners listen to this podcast every week. The rest of them are not doing what you're doing. You're already kicking yourself in, right? Stupid ploy. Pretend that I don't own American Window Cleaner Magazine. Pretend I don't own it. But for all of you who do have a subscription to AWC, think about this. Yeah, there's cool pictures, stickers. We always talk about that because stickers are rad. I love stickers. I love the culture. I love all that. But on another note, you go above and beyond to get a magazine about your industry to be better. You're reading articles that not everybody's reading. You're watching podcasts that not everybody's watching. You'll binge content on YouTube. You'll do all of that stuff. You're already on your way to greatness. Increase it. Do a little more. If you're not doing all that stuff or it's your first time here in the podcast, you're taking the first step. I always tell people the first time they sign up for the magazine, they go, oh, man, I just, you know, I signed up for the magazine. I really want to do you a solid, you know, say thank you for everything, blah, blah, blah. That's why I signed up for the magazine. Just a little thank you. It's awesome. High five. But understand that you did something else. Understand that you're taking your company, your hustle, your everything to another level. Everything that you do that is bigger and better than the guy next to you increases you. There are guys out there, I kid you not, that have been in business for two years that know way more than guys that have been in business for 30 years. Now, if you're an old timer, I did not mean every single young person because unfortunately there's a lot of people who think they know everything. And as soon as you think you know everything, you do not. A person who is extremely smart, extremely successful tells you, I don't know everything. That's my goal is to learn more. My everyday goal is to learn more. That's why the biggest people still have, you know, they still follow people. That's why, you know, um, uh, Bezos, 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 whatever. Elon Musk, I guarantee he has a mentor himself, right? They all are trying to still achieve something. Surround yourself with greatness. And understand that if you die... No one cares. In business, metaphorically, blah, blah, blah. In business, if you die, no one cares like you care. So it's up to you. All of this that we talked about, maybe it was the kick in the pants you need. 
Maybe you go back and watch a bunch of, of nations. Maybe you get the magazine. Maybe you, uh, you know, you create a giant plan. You break things down. You make goals. All of that. You've just bettered your company every single day. You don't have to better your company 50% every day. 1%. 1%. 1% more hustle. 1% more than you did yesterday. Because then after a year, you're up 365%. You can't do that in a day. Maybe you can't even do that in a year. But if you're always bettering yourself and you're always focusing on the fact that if your business dies, no one cares, it is up to you and you alone, your hustle will appear. Your hustle will increase. It's up to you. You can do it. You know you can. You're watching a podcast or listening to a podcast right now. Like I said, all of the things that you're doing, show me that you're going to be on another level, right? Nobody watches 240 episodes of a podcast or listens and doesn't pick something up. Nobody reads 220 plus issues of America Window Cleaner Magazine and doesn't get better in some way. Everything you do is getting better and it's increasing you and it's making your hustle and smarts and everything else better. It's getting you to the plan. Live or die, it is up to you. Anyway, there you go. I'm jumping off my, my high horse now. But I hope this helps. This time of year, I need motivation as much as everybody. And uh, sometimes it's just in my head that you know, let's, let's get it. Let's kick it. Let's kick it up a notch. I have to do that same with, with me. You know, sometimes we get pulled into different things and you have to really just refocus. It's refocus time. But anyway, I hope there wasn't too many plugs either. I was more mentioning American Window Cleaner Magazine because I love this before I even uh, purchased it. That's why I got it. Uh, hopefully the changes too uh, are super rad. And if you haven't gotten it yet, get it. It can do you nothing but but good awcmag.com if you are on tiktok follow me if you're watching nation and you want to rap or you just want to do me a solid or you're like dude you know this guy i want to repay him it costs you nothing extra to have me put your order in nothing extra but i get credit for the sale so yeah little big it does not matter let me know 862-312-2026 until next week, go out there and hustle your butt off. Increase everything, increase your knowledge. Be better, be stronger, be smarter, because if you live or die, it's up to you. But more importantly, be epic.